Hello, good afternoon. My name is Rafael Musa. Uh, today I'm going to show you the demonstration on how you can use ArcGIS Pro uh, to obtain the land surface temperature, the case study of Dodoma Urban. Welcome and join me. So uh, by starting with this project of obtaining land uh, surface temperature, we'll be following the six uh, steps. So I hope you'll be with me. The first step, you will be uh, calculating the, uh, the top of atmosphere spectral radiance. The second step, I uh, will just need to convert the top of atmosphere spectral radiance to brightness temperature. The third step, we'll calculate NDVI. The fourth step, we we'll need to calculate the proportion of vegetation, we we'll call it PV. And the fifth step, we just need to calculate the emissivity. Uh, uh, the last step we just calculate the land surface temperature. So by starting, I'm going to create a new map project uh, within my ArcGIS Pro. So my project, I have called it uh, the land surface temperature. So another another thing which you need to have is the data. You just need to have the Landsat image. I will be using Landsat nine. Uh, the most useful band are band 4, band 5, and uh, band 10. Band 10 is thermal band, band 4 and 5. 4 stands for red, and uh, band 5 stands for near infrared for those who will be using Landsat 8 and Landsat 9. But for Landsat uh, 7 up to Landsat 4 or 5, the band 1 will be just uh, blue, and band 3 will be red, and band 4 will be near infrared. So you just need to use band three and band four to calculate NDVI. So by starting, I'm going to add up my data. The first step is just add up your data. I'm mainly interested in band, band four, band five, and band 10. I'm going to add them in my GIS Pro environment. After adding your data, we just need to define the area of interest because I'm not going to process the whole image. I'll just extract the piece uh, of information. Uh, so the area of interest will be the Dodoma urban area, which is found in Dodoma in Tanzania. So the first step will be extracting the image using this uh, mask of the Dodoma, the Dodoma urban area. So we just need to go to imagery tool and go to raster function. Data management. We're just going to clip this image. So I will start clipping the band 10. If the clipping tape to be outside, then use the input feature for clipping geometry. Then the new band will be created. I'm going to call this band clip band 10 and to call it uh, clip band 10. I will also clip the band 5. The creeping geometry should be the area of interest and we we'll use this feature for creeping geometry. And I'm going to call it uh, uh, clip, clip, clip band five. So I'm going to clip the, also going to clip the band four. Yes, the new layer, I'll call it clip band four. So I'm going to remove the first band which are not clipped. So I'm having the uh, three bands which are clipped to the area of interest. The first one is clip band of 
10. The second is clip band 5. And the third one is clip band 4. So by starting, I'm going to calculate the top of atmosphere spectral radiance. Uh, before calculating, you need to have the metadata open, metadata for the uh, image bundle open. So I know where my image is, so I'm going to open the metadata. So this is the metadata. Uh, simply the metadata file can be defined as a file which contain data about the data you have. The file which contain data about data, data about data. So this is the formula to calculate the top of uh, atmosphere spectral radiance. ML stands for radiance multiplicative factor uh, for band 10 specifically. And the QCAL stands for uh, the band. And AL stands for the radiance additive scaling factor. Additive and multiplicative scaling factor found in the metadata of the image. So this is metadata. We are going to just uh, see where the radiance multiplicative uh, scaling factor for band 10 is this one. And additive factor for band 10 is this one. So we are going to multiply the multiplicative factor and add the factor which is to be added. So for this time, we are going to use uh, the raster calculator tool, which is found under the toolbox, which is found in ArcGIS. Under this personalist tools, you go to map algebra, open the raster calculator. The first thing you just need to add the multiplicative factor for band 10, this one. So instead of writing like this, we are going to Let's remove this and add zero, zero, zero. It means the same, the same thing. We are going to multiply by the band 10 and then add, We're going to multiply by the band 10 and add the additive factor, which is zero point one, zero, zero, zero which is mainly 0 0.1. So this image which will be formed, I'm going to call it uh, the tower image, top of atmosphere spectral radiance. I'm going to run the tool. So the image, for tower values has been created and the value ranges from eight to 11. So the next step, we are going to convert the tower to brightness temperature using this formula, where K2 are constant found on the metadata also, and L stand for uh, top of atmosphere uh, radiance. We just showed the same tool, last calculator. So this is uh, the formula. And the K2 values and K1, are uh, going to find them in the meta metadata, the data file. So I'm going to share the metadata. This is metadata and the value for K2 and K1 are constant. K2 for, uh, for band 10 is this one. I'm going to copy it and paste here. Remove this, oh, sorry. Remove this and paste K2. Let's print on space. Then I'm going to copy the K1 value from metadata. I'm going to paste here the K1 value. Sorry, control V. Then this L stands for top of atmosphere. To replace the L by TOA. And this, I'm going to call it a uh, brightness temperature since I've converted the tower to brightness temperature BT. So after running the, the formula in last calculation, now we'll have the layer of brightness temperature. We see the layer ranges from uh, 17 
237. After having the brightness temperature, now we need to calculate the NDVI. So we will use this formula to calculate the NDVI float of band four minus band five divided by float of band five plus band four. We are going to open the raster calculator again, and we are going to calculate the NDVI using the formula. So float load of band four, band five minus band four, band five minus, oh, sorry, sorry, band five minus, band four, divide by then float, And five plus and four. So this is going to be the N DVI. We already now have the N DVI layer, which ranges from negative zero point two to zero point five. So after calculating the NDVI, we are going to calculate the proportional of vegetation. So the proportion of vegetation will be calculated by using the square of NDVI minus NDVI minimum uh, divided by NDVI maximum uh, minus NDVI minimum. So we are going to use this formula in the last calculator environment. So from the NDVI layer, the minimum, uh, the minimum NDVI will be zero, negative 0 0.26, uh, negative 0 0.265, and the maximum NDVI will be 0 0.54. So we are going to open up the raster calculator again. Then you're going to use NDVI layer, NDVI uh, minus, NDVI minimum value. If you just want to copy this, go to symbology, then select this one. And open up the bracket. Divide. Divide this one. Maximum value. 0 0.26510, so I'm going to call it capital, capital P, small letter V. Now we have the layer for the PV value, proportion of vegetation. After that, we are going to convert the PV to emissivity. So the next step is to calculate the emissivity from the PV value. We are going to use the following equation. Emissivity is simply equals to 0 0.004 times PV plus 0 0.986. So we are going to use the same tool, that's the calculator. 0 0.004 times PV times PV plus 0 0.986, then we're going to call it the emissivity. CVD. Now we already have the emissivity layer which ranges from uh, 0 0.986 to 1. So after having the emissivity layer, we are going to uh, uh, calculate the land surface temperature. So using this formula, we are going to calculate uh, the land surface temperature. Bt simply means the brightness temperature, and we already have it, and this is emissivity layer. 
this E. So we are going to calculate the land surface temperature using this formula. Now we are going to use the same tool, which is last calculator. We are going to use the formula, which has been displayed there. So the first thing we are going to use, uh, we're going to open bracket, so, and add the brightness temperature, divide by another bracket, one plus another bracket, zero, Point zero 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 point zero zero one one five uh, times by brightness temperature and divide by one point four three eight eight natural logarithm for emissivity. So I'm going to call it the land surface temperature. So from now we are going to have the final layer, which is land surface temperature ranging from 17 degree to 37 degree. So the last type we're going to change the symbology for this layer to present this information in meaningful layer. Just click uh, here on the color scheme, then change the color scheme to range from, uh, from green to red, whereby the green will show the less temperature, temperature area and um, red will show the island surface temperature. So thank you for being with me from the first time up to this time. Um, goodbye.